everybody and welcome to the 33rd episode of the Fan Flux Podcast. I, as always, am your host, KCW. I am feeling shitty this week, but I am here for you, the people. Uh, with me this week we have Slicer. Hello. Kenchi. Hello. I'm Kenchi618, and all of Jay-Z's 99 problems are me. I can't tell if that was clever or really stupid. No, I'm gonna go with clever. I'll get. I'll give him that one. That was pretty, that was okay. Yeah. Uh, and the um, consistently late zero. Yay! <laughs> That's not really something to yay about, but okay. Yeah. I got a title. Uh, Does well, that mean I, I get like a ten percent damage? Uh, Added to dragons. You got a title, but it was a pretty shitty one. I couldn't even think of a good one. Your action Just time is lower. Yeah. Because <laughs> of that title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I woke yeah. up on time. Okay. I woke up really early and I was ready and. freaking. Then you weren't. That's, um. makes me sad. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I guess we're going to start, as we always do, with uh, what we're doing. So, what are we doing, Ken? Alright, pretty short for me this week. Um, I wanted to see Spider-Man yesterday, but that didn't happen. But I did wind up getting Dark Souls 2. Oh, awesome. Mm, how's that? This is go. This is very quickly going to turn into the Dark Souls podcast. No, it's Pretty not. Because I'm not going to let it. I, it hasn't gone. I haven't played that much yet, so I haven't had the time to sit down and actually get into it. So I'm not that. I haven't really done much. I and didn't mean just this episode. Other... I meant just in perpetuity. Oh yeah, I'm trying to stop it, but seeing as how I bought it, I'm just propagating the cycle. Anyway, aside from that, on Monday my car decided that it didn't want to work for me anymore. Mm. Mm. So, it left me dead on the side of the highway, 40 miles away from home. Wow. Again, coincidentally, about five miles from the exact same place it did it last year. So, I had to leave it there for the night because there was no way to get it. So, the next morning, I had to get my dad's truck and rent, like, some thing to hook it up to so I could drag it home. And when I go back to the same spot, lo and behold, it's gone. What? Toad. <laughs> so I had to drop another 140 bu- or another 175 bucks to get it out immediately. And if I'd have left it for any longer than a day, it'd have been another, I think, 50 bucks added on every day oh. that you leave it there. Jeez. Wow. So. Do you have like um? Do you have like AAA right in your country? Nope. Well, yeah, we do, but I don't. Oh. Mm kind of broke, which has kind of come back to bite me because <laughs> it would have been less than what I just got through mm-hmm. paying to take my car home. So, yeah. That was my week. Mm. Not so great. Yeah. Except the Dark Souls yeah. thing. That's, that's yeah. pretty great. <laughs> that remains to be seen. It doesn't remain to be seen. Everyone else on this podcast loves that game. <laughs> pretty much. Well, I'm not you guys. I'm different. You will be. I'm special. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Peacocks don't fly. One of do us. they? One of us. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah, they do. Us. I'm sorry, I'm tired. You're yeah. tired. Are you tired? Are you not feeling so great, you Zero? You know what? Are you, not? you know what? Let's <laughs> all just be calm. Got this. Okay. Uh, whose, whose turn is it next to talk about their week? Slicer, do you want to go next? Uh, sure. Uh, as can be predicted, just more Dark Souls. And Dark uh, Souls. apparently my connection was good enough to PvP, and uh, it's pretty boring, actually. Not for the reason you'd expect. When my connection is good enough, um, I'm just really good at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not that yeah. you're bragging. Uh, yeah, I win most of my fights. The only people that actually beat me are the really skilled uh, spell physical hybrid. Yeah, those can get me too. Some people are into that. I have 
So you don't like dominating? Oh, well, I do, but after like four hours of it, it gets kind of boring. Mm. Fair enough. Dude, just run in with your cards rapier and then chaos firestorm, everything goes nice. Yeah. Dark Souls. Hmm. Mm. Uh, zero. Um, so this week I was working a lot on a project uh, for uh, school with my group, and it was about hey, it cuts in like a couple weeks, but it was about bullying and whatever. And so there's like four people mm -hmm. in my group, myself included, and two of them are girls, and one of them's a really small kid. So of course that meant I have to be the bully. And that went hmm. interestingly. Awkwardly. I felt really, I felt really bad I after I shoved him into a wall. <laughs> so, okay. so, did he bump for I it? Did he sell it? I sent him Because, <laughs> yeah, it, he first he was way too light. Like, he was, like, I I barely tapped him, and he's just like, boom, right into the wall. I yeah. get that problem a lot. Maybe he's just very, very good at acting. He just threw himself into the wall. <laughs> uh, and he was so good, it, he didn't it, notice. That's why, was, <laughs> that's why I was asking yeah. if he sold it. <laughs> was it him, or was it, it if, you? If you I, I'm 100% I'm sure it was me, because he really wasn't expecting it. <laughs> yeah, so we got blooper reels from that. <laughs> All sorts of things. <laughs> um, so that was fun. Uh, also this week, I released another chapter of my story, which was pretty good. I had it baited twice, which is two more times than usual. Of course, there were still some minor errors, because, <laughs> like... I added in content, then didn't get, and then I didn't get baited a third time, so there were some small errors left. Um, but other than that, I, everybody seems to have liked it, which was good, because, I don't know, I feel like I've been getting more mixed reviews recently. And, hmm. Shit, you did release a new yeah. chapter. I remember seeing the email alert, I didn't read it. Yeah. It's 14,000 words. Because... Should probably get to that. Applause. Applause for Yeah, me. I'm trying to just cover more time with each chapter because I'm really excited for what's happening like in the story time in two weeks, something really awesome is going to happen. And that's like the whole full moon mm -hmm. fight with Persona and everything. I really want to get to that. Yeah. Yeah, you are going to be writing the story for a long time if you keep going at the pace you That's are That's why now. I, I'm really boosting it up, trying to get at least a week in the chapter for now. Um, yeah. Pointer for people writing Persona Fix. Don't do every day yeah. of the calendar. Don't do that. You will kill yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay to skip over some Yeah. Time. Not everything's important, and that's something you have to realize... Which I did, and it seems everybody seems to have liked that chapter. Um, originally, it was very like melodramatic, and I have a tendency of falling into melodrama. I've noticed, and then after editing it twice, everybody said it was a really hilarious chapter. So I don't know what happened, mm. <laughs> but yeah, I released a chapter on Wednesday, and what else I did this week? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I feel I feel like uh, melodrama is kind of a flaw that a lot of fan fiction writers yeah, have. It's, it's, we seem to enjoy our melodrama a yeah. little bit. It's probably because a lot of people don't see that as a flaw. Mm. You know, hence why I had to get it baited twice. Is cause it's just, I just wanted to get rid of that. I wanted to have drama that was fitting, not over the top all the time. Mm. I, I really found that removing all like a crap ton of ellipses helps. Yeah, that is yeah cool. that's a fan fiction thing Everybody too. does that a lot, and I do it a lot, and by removing it a lot, it, it feels less melodramatic. Mm. Um, so yeah. Also this week, uh, aside from that, on Friday, I 
went to work, and lo and behold, we had a new guy starting that day. And also, it had been really busy the entirety of the week. I didn't know that, because I only worked two days a week, because my college schedule and everything. Um, mm-hmm. So I get in there, and normally when you're really busy, my boss will help me. He will go back and he will help cook, because we need to have to cook sometimes. Um, he gets called mm-hmm. out for a family emergency. So, I'm there, and I have to cook, basically, for the equivalent of two people, while the new guy just sits there and watches. Because I cannot have him make chicken, because my boss said he can't, really. He hasn't even gone to orientation yet. Yeah, still in the training yeah. process. and he doesn't even know, and I can't mm-hmm. take the time to teach him. And so, I taught him how to rack chicken once it comes up, so he can bring it up front. And, of course, he was still slow at that, so... Everybody said I did a good job. We didn't run out of chicken, but it was one of the most stressful times I've ever worked at KFC. I was there. I was working there really late. So, yeah, it was just a tough day yesterday. Because mm. my boss came back, and everybody was behind me. Everybody was there until uh, at least 11, and I was there later. Like, yeah... So, that was my week. Hmm. Okay, and... I wasn't actually done with mine. Oh, Um, whoops. (laughs) Sorry. I got Demon's Souls. I don't... Just because they had one copy left, and I didn't want to not have it when I do get it. That sounds nice. Hmm. And so I commented to it about a friend of mine, and he just sent me money for a PS3. Dude. So... In 15 days, I will. That's have probably the coolest friend. So ever. yeah, Storm Arrow, if you need a kidney or something, I'm your guy. That's probably the coolest thing that has ever happened to anybody ever. Aside from people, you're saying, gonna yeah. sell a kidney for like 200 dollars. Whatever, I don't care, <laughs> dude. I'm, I don't plan to ever drink. So it's <laughs> if it's like a really kidney. good kidney, you, you, you gotta you gotta get a good price. You, know, you gotta haggle a little bit. Hey, that is. That's really it, though. That that's been my entire week. Okay. In two parts. Yes. Uh, yeah. So my week, I got Dark Souls two and played the crap out of it, just mm-hmm. a lot. Like the entire time this past week has been either uploading stuff to the YouTube channel, like an hour or two editing last week's podcast, which was this morning, but mm. yeah, that happened. Uh, and just playing Dark Souls 2 while talking to Slicer and getting his advice on things, because he lives that game. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. So, my impressions so far are it's not that hard if you play as a mage. Not too most much, not of too the time. There are exceptions to this rule. <laughs> Fuck the wharf. That place sucks balls. Yeah. That was too bad. It will really fuck any area that's long enough that you run out of spells. In the early game, yes, because you will run out of spells. Yeah. Cause... Like, the first uh, sorcery trainer in the game is on the wharf. And by that point, you have three spells. Yeah. You have the shitty soul arrow, the shitty soul arrow again, and the not-so-shitty soul arrow. (laughs) That's what you get. And you have to go through the entire area, and you will run out of spells very quickly. And then you will use an amber herb to regenerate your spells. And then you will run out of spells again. And then you'll break your catalyst. Yep, that happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is... that, 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 that was not a fun time. The more you guys talk about Dark Souls 2, the more it makes you seem like buying it was a mistake. <laughs> because no, all you guys do is no. complain about hey, stuff that It's happens. a mean game, but you <laughs> love it <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what class did they choose in Dark Souls 2? I don't want to tell you. Because I'm pretty no, sure you're no, going to go, oh, or something, because I'm not sure it, it I like it. It makes almost yeah. no difference. Just tell, yeah. Not really. What class? Um, 
Yeah. Must I? Go ahead. It, honestly, it makes almost no difference. You can change your build like halfway through the game. I'll go ahead and guess it. What? The only thing that changes yes. is your starter stats and what you start with. You can buy the yeah. stuff later or find it. Yeah. Uh, I think Ken was a knight. No. Uh, bandit. I think. Yeah, and bandit. It, yeah. I started my it. first game as a bandit. I did not I love chose, it. I chose swordsman. <laughs> I don't like yeah, it. No. I swordsman was second choice. If I had swordsman, band, it swordsman, like it's more of a dex build, and I like dex builds because you move a lot faster, and people who are slow, you just massacre them when you have the right weapons. And yeah, I'm thinking about starting over as a swordsman. I'm not sure I'm into the bandit that much. Um, Better know how to dodge then. Yeah. That's the only strength as a swordsman. You need to get out of the way. You raise you a bad adaptability, you can get more invincibility yeah. frames and just move faster. I might just suggest going with uh, Explorer instead, because they get more dexterity and they get adaptability as well. Which is your rolling speed and invincibility yeah, frames. Swordsman deals more damage, though, in my opinion. It does, but... Uh, this is all early game yeah. stuff, though, I mean... yeah. Eventually, like we said, it, it won't matter. You'll spec out your character how you want to after that. Yeah. And... Hmm. Seriously, what's that beeping I'm hearing in the background? I don't know. It's not on my end. I can hear I it too. I feel like that's my grandpa's alarm clock, but I don't think that is. Because I can't... Cause... Okay. Yeah. He's obviously just unconscious in his room. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Dark Souls. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I also started as a bandit the first time, and wasn't thrilled with it, because the dex isn't that high, and it has other problems, I forget what they were, to be honest. Oh yeah, it has really low strength to start. Wait, what? Well, not really low, but pretty low. As in, you can't wield any of the shields at the start of the game. So. It's not what I wanted out of the yeah. that's when the, I got it. That's the entire point of the bandit class, though, is they start with really high strength and, like, no intelligence. Like, one. No, it starts with, like, pretty poor strength and pretty decent dexterity. It's the huh. bow wielding class, is the point of it. Um, oh, that okay. Never mind. I was mistaking that with the different class. Mm. But it does start with one intelligence. Yes. Pretty much got it for the bow. Not thrilled with it. Yeah. Any any dex <laughs> character can use a bow with fighting efficiency. Mm. Never a fan of the bow. I wasn't yeah, fan of, of the spells. I do like playing. Bow has helped me a lot. You know, you get the black bow. And you just go out and you snipe people because that's it's ridiculous range on it. And sniping people has helped me mm. through a good portion of the game. Mm. Oh boy, is that gonna bite you in the ass later? Yeah, uh, I do have to agree with Slice's opinion on the bosses. They are pretty bullshit. Mm. I have had some experiences with the ruined Sentinels in the Bastille. Yeah, mm. that's great, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's a fun time. Fun, fun, fun. You gotta summon two people with that, just so it's, you know, at least... That's exactly what I did. I beat it this morning. Yeah. I had been stuck on this boss for, like, three days. Ugh. Yeah, you know, it could be worse, you know? You could get to the part where you're underneath the castle and you have to deal with five of those. Or, like... Don't tell oh, yeah. Like at that. least you can fight them one yeah. at a time until you open up all the doors and come yeah. back. This game is not nice to you if you try to play a fragile character. Because they will give you bullshit scenarios like that where you have to constantly watch your back and still try and do damage. Yeah. Mm. Especially considering that room with the five rune sentinels also has like 20 soldiers. 
to get to activate as soon as you get close to them. Well, yeah, that's how you open the yeah. doors. You got to beat the enemies nearby the doors. Yeah, and then once all the goes and then the once, door instead of once you. all the doors are open, if you didn't make it through earlier, then you have to make it through all of them, and it sucks. Yeah. Zero. Stop telling me things. It's it's not nice. Oh, and there there is a uh, bonfire, but to get pat to get to it, you have to get past the ruin sentinel, and then once you, and they have to drop down the hole, and then he'll chase you down the hole. And then there will be no way to get back up from that hole, except by warping to another bonfire. I can kill them if it's one yeah. at a time. I still had pretty shitty spells uh, at the time. I yeah. had, like, Great Heavy Soul Arrow was my best spell, mm -hmm. and I had 11 but of those. But that area, that area that I'm talking about, drop down, that's where you get the armor from the trailer. I didn't watch the trailer, so I don't know what that is. But I'm pretty fine with the armor that I've got. Yeah. I dumped all of my money into getting the really expensive one from the armor mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Which one is that again? The Alva armor. Oh, that stuff. Okay. I've yeah. seen it on a few different people. It's a pretty decent mechanic, actually, that if you uh, buy enough stuff from shopkeepers, then they'll get new stuff in stock and will sometimes just straight up give you stuff. Yeah, if you spend enough money at the, the armor in the first city, Majula, and then have zero souls when you talk to him again, he'll just give you armor. Uh, pretty good lightweight stuff, actually. Yeah, you, you spend a uh, thousand and he'll get new stuff, which is okay for, like, uh, strength characters and those that have a decent equip equipment load thing. You know. It's the elite uh, knight armor from the first game, actually. It's, that's yes. what he gets. And the royal soldier armor, I believe. And then if you spend another 16,000 souls, then he will get the Alva armor set, which costs a lot. But it is pretty worth it, because it's lightweight, and it's strong, and I can wear it as a mage and still get away with it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That meant I pretty much didn't have to die in the Ruin Sentinel thing again. Yeah, you can actually take a hit. Or two, twice, maybe two. <laughs> yeah, I fucked that boss, but I beat it, so I'm cool. Uh, yeah, so lots of Dark Souls. No, we're not calling tip, it Dark Souls. If you're fighting the old Iron King, don't immediately strafe to the right. You will fall into the lava two seconds into the boss fight. I am sick of being summoned and having people do that. I'm trying to get Sunbro medals, and you're not making it any easier. Yeah, I, I don't know, why, I don't know so... why, but I love that in joke. <laughs> right, that is uh, the easiest way to farm, though. That boss gives you fifteen thousand when you're summoned, so it's pretty great. Yeah, mm. it's nice to be a sun girl. Right. Um, I'm, I'm level one hundred eighty nine though, so I don't really need that. Anymore. Yeah, I there's like almost no covenants that I really need anything from because none of them give you sorcery stuff. That but, is really weird. I I didn't actually believe you when you first told me that, but yeah, there's yeah, yeah. there's pyromancies and miracles and hexes, but there's no sorcery stuff at all. It kind of sucks. Pyromancies but, uh, are really good. I kind of want to be a sunbro just because. Yeah. <laughs> just because sunbros are cool. I was a I was a sunbro back at the old Iron King fight, and that's interesting because some people will just run up and get right in the middle of his attack because they're stupid. Uh, that's what you're supposed to no, do. No, like actually. no, no. I, I stay yeah, close I know, to trigger his uh, physical attack. I know, and just roll I know. Around him. It's not I hard. know. But when he's charging to do that fire <laughs> thing where he throws <laughs> in the fist, he'll just stand there. What? Like, what? like I'm Why? serious. People are just stupid. Like he he goes to, like, do that thing where he shoots fire out of his hands, and then they like, I don't know. People are stupid. I've seen so many people die stupidly, and then they get like unsummoned because. You, re you begin to realize, oh, maybe this is this person's first time, and then they summon you again, and then they die again. And you just start to mm. lose faith in humanity. I've, I've yeah. never been repeat summoned. I, I've but... been repeat summoned, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've not had very good experiences with the uh, online component of the game. Aside from... 
my connection being shitty and deciding I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna let you use the internet anymore for a little while. Uh gave me like thirty seconds and by that time my connection to the game has been lost. Which means I would have to restart. Um Yeah. Trying to summon people for the Ruined Sentinel fight was not fun. They have n the people that play this game apparently have no idea what tanking means. No, not really. If I summon a dude because I see he has a gigantic shield, that means I want him <laughs> to get hit so I don't have to. Ugh. But no, he just stands there, just watching the Ruined Sentinels corner me, and just fucking <laughs> constantly walk <laughs> towards me, and I see him just standing behind me and go, you gonna do something or what? Yeah, I just summoned two dudes. And we went in, and we each targeted a rune sentinel. As soon as somebody killed one, they went to help somebody else, and then, you know, like that. Because I, I, at least the first fight, as long as you stay on that platform, it doesn't uh, it doesn't spawn any yeah. new guys until that one's dead. It doesn't. But the thing is, that's a tiny fucking platform. I am a mage. I have oh. a robe, a staff, and a monocle. I do not take hits well, and that is not a good space for me. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm I'm not enthused by the online component of that game too much. Uh, I want one of you to get to the end game so you can tell me what your equipment is. Um, I've already beat the game. Yeah. Oh, really? What are you wearing? Um, that was weird. Okay, what are you equipped <laughs> with? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> um, uh. I cannot remember. It was the the one headless dude's armor. I had like I cannot remember. Uh, That's about girl. I had. I assume it doesn't have. A it helmet. was a mix. There is a helmet. You just have to talk to the head to get it. <laughs> it was like a mm -hmm. mix of uh, Ven Girl and Snelter Demon. Uh, mm. um, is what. That's not too bad. That's that's what I did. Uh, <sighs> mainly because lots of good defense and fire defense. So screw you, pyromancies, and I can walk on lava with an, with after rolling into water. Okay. I think uh, Ken's getting a little yeah. bit antsy right. with yeah. <laughs> not shutting up about Dark Souls. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on, please. Uh, so I I guess we're done. Uh, I had a meeting about uh, housing and stuff, so that's finally moving forward. Yay! Yay. Get Yay. a place. It's cool. Get internet that isn't on a wireless network. Yeah. That shuts down in intermittently and ruining all my shit. Uh, so, first topic. Uh, thing is, there are no new manga this week. I I think it's Golden Week it is. or something, so they don't have new releases. Yeah, it's Golden Week. My brother checked because he saw Persona 4 Gold in the animation trailer. He's like, oh, it's, it's Golden yeah. Week. Yeah, so there's no Bleach, there's no Naruto, so we can't bitch about them. Sorry. Well, we can, but it kind of lose effect. Yeah, Just we can. Just regular bitching yeah. instead of th it was stupid this week bitching. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we we tend to get in into that anyway at some point yeah. during the episode. Fair so, enough. Uh, <laughs> we don't need to dedicate time to it. It just happens naturally. Um. So our first topic is uh, self-insert characters. Uh, yeah, that's usually the reaction you get, but uh, mm. it can be done well, but you kind of need to be specifically looking yeah, for it. Um, my first two fix I ever wrote, now removed from the site, were self-insert fix. Uh, that's an embarrassing yeah, thing to admit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was just a little, a little, a little, a little baby zero. A little zero, zero junior. <laughs> okay. It is kind of a you common thing, though. I mean, most people find it easier to get into fan fiction if they're, you know, part of the story, so they mm. don't have to think up characters. Yeah, it, cause most people, when they think of fan fiction, it's like, oh, what would happen if I was there? Well, I know plots, so I would do this. You know, and... Yeah, if, if you want to tell a good story, it's really hard to do it with a self-insert. Because you have bias. As a human being, you have bias. 
So unless also for knowledge yeah, of the series. So, so unless that, you can, it unless can you can separate resist. yourself from yourself, insert, and then give your character flaws. It's gonna be really hard because you have to like be like, mm. you know what? You, you like you want to self insert right. You have to look at yourself objectively and be like, okay, so maybe I'd do this, but then again, I'm pretty arrogant, so I don't know about this. Well, I don't think I'm smart enough to figure that out. It's kind of a... You have to insult yourself. Hmm. Also, remember, even though you're in the story, you aren't in the story writing the story. Yeah. So, you won't know the events that you have changed yourself. Yeah. Like, you have to actually somehow... You have to figure out what you would do and why. And also, your character has to fail still. Like, you can't succeed all mm -hmm. the time. Because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Maybe something you think that you do that's good actually causes something bad. But your character will know that until it happens. Hmm. I mean, being I caught unaware. I feel like um, kind of I feel like a second step after doing self inserts is probably the character from the story actually knows the plot of the story in advance. Redo fix, you mean? Yeah, more uh, or less. Your standard time travel plots and such and such. Because that's basically the same thing. Only it's an actual character from the story, so you can have their view on how they would handle the situation again, as it were. Uh, yeah. Mm. Hmm. Um, I hadn't even considered that being the next uh, step up from that, but yeah, it is. You guys want to answer Johnny Boy's questions about self inserts? Um, he had yeah, questions. Um, do you feel this? He already we already answered. Do you feel that a self insert story can be good with an author personality, or should they play it up? the story. Oh, that's why yeah. this was a topic. Now I remember. Okay. Um, on that thread, do you feel that you'd be good in a self-insert story? Do you even feel that self-insert stories are good? Very, very rarely yeah. are they good. I mean, I've seen one that's actually good. I once good. read uh, a fic, I think it was Tales of a Time Traveling Gutsy Shinobi, where the main character self-insert became so powerful that he was beating every single bad guy in Bleach with 0.01% of his power. Yeah. Yeah, it's well. like the worst kind and of he was going to get, like, omnipresence or something, and it was like, oh, by the way, you're part god, and it's like, oh. Like, hilariously overpowered to the point where it's just like, why? Was it played for laughs? Or was I it don't serious? even know. It was just... At first, it was a crossover between Naruto and real life, apparently, where he gets stuck into Naruto after he dies. I don't know. And then he dies again in Naruto, and then he ends up in Bleach, Soul Society. And... It was just... I found it to be a little over-the-top, Hence why I stopped reading it. But uh, with an author's personality, back to the question: with an author's personality, um, like if you don't know what you're, if you don't think that you have that you'll be, you'd be an interesting character. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. He's gone. <laughs> Oh, you were saying? We can take over yeah. now. Start the rebellion. No, I'm just kidding. You got a little thought. Continue your right. thought. So, cut you. um, how do you feel that, like, with an author's personality, like, most of the time, you should probably get somebody to help you with explaining your personality, because they'll be able to see you for who you are, what your flaws are, more so than you will yourself. So it's always so it's good to have somebody else to help you with that. Um, playing it up for the story, though, I feel can it's iffy. 
Like, what are your thoughts on this, guys? It depends how you're playing it up and how it comes across. Yeah, because if you feel like you're just an average guy and you don't have any major flaws, you might have to play it up. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, and on that thread, do you feel you'd be good in a self-insert story? Um, I feel like I'd be entertaining. I, if nothing else. Yeah, I think so. Um... I'd be entertaining, and I have two very extremely exploitable yeah. weaknesses. What are those? It takes me way too. It takes me way too long to think of stuff. I think way too hard about stuff. Ah. And ego. So I'll take more time than I need. Yeah, ego, and I think too hard about stuff. It takes me too much time. I overthink things to such a degree that it's actually detrimental. It slows me down. Those are just two that I thought of in yeah. thirty seconds. Hmm. Uh, One of them would be. Well, both of them really would be very noticeable as well. So, yeah, self-insert stories. And my friend uh, wrote this sort out online self-insert thing. Uh, it was basically just me and well, we have this like chat group thing set up. It's like four or five people, depending mm. on who's on, and uh, that was pretty entertaining. But it was just guilty pleasure, basically. Nothing too. Uh, I don't know, terrible, I suppose, but it was just, like, written for guilty pleasure, I mean. Yeah. Like, it's okay to write something like that for guilty pleasure because you want to. Just don't expect it to become the best you can. Yeah. Because, number one, people usually read fanfiction to read about the characters that they care about. And, number two, it's really hard to get I'd self-insert fic done right. Mm-hmm. Because bias. What What qualifies a self-insert fic to you? Um, it can vary. Like, usually, you can usually pretty much tell when it's a self-insert fic because they have an OC or something. Yeah, pretty much. An OC that seems oddly overpowered or characterized or has details about him that seem too Yeah, realistic. or way too Sue or Stu. Um, or sometimes, and this happens, I've been accused of it happening once, they make the main character of a series, like, their personality is not exactly what it is in canon. And... Um, like for the Persona series the character really doesn't have too much of a personality so you have to yeah no not really so you basically have to give them a personality and so that can result in a lot of semi self insert fix yeah it's pseudo yeah. self insert it's hard to tell with characters like that yeah, I, I try to give reasons for why characters are different from in canon because literally in canon for Persona they're just blank and their sign protagonists so you know you gotta justify those types of things mm -hmm. um okay anybody got anything else to say on this topic nothing that I, I can mean, think of this was something I wanted to talk about because and I think Slicer and Casey know this like last week I was talking about some DC pick that I wanted to start, but none of the characters I could think of would actually fit for what I needed them to do. Not very well, no. Yeah. I remember you talking about that. Mm -hmm. So, so that, that was, that was uh, the absolute worst time for someone else to be using the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Mm. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, brown water. You feel better. <laughs> yeah. Just come right out and say it, then, won't you? Yeah. Why don't you? You'll give me, you'll give me yeah. nightmares. Stop it. Do you have nightmares no. about diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you might give me some. Keep talking about it. We're moving on. We're moving Fair on. Enough. Um. Yeah, so we, can, we basically beat self-insert to death at this point, so... Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Okay. 
I've seen one good on one. Casey? I've seen one good one. Or? One. Uh, I think I've talked about it before. It was a fake. I think I feel like it was called Chaos Theory something 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 something. The one about the dude who jumped between worlds. Oh, that one against yeah. his own will. And ended up in the bed of the girl who he favored in that particular series. Yeah, the one where he keeps getting his ass kicked and actually almost ends up dying everywhere he yep. goes because he's not stupid. Pretty much. So That's like it... the best example of self insert, I gotta say. Mm. I think it was like Sailor Mars and uh, Shampoo from Ranma and Hill from, I think it was Oh My Goddess, I think. Mm. I think that's the villain. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It was, it came from a lot of series that I don't know and follow, but it was a good enough story that I enjoyed it enough anyway, so... I like stories like mm. that. The ones that you don't need, that even though you don't know anything mm -hmm. about the series, mm -hmm. you can you still find them good. Mm. You should do a topic on that. Yay, foreshadowing. Like, this week or, like, next week? I don't know, I'll... Add it to the list. We have a list now. Foreshadowing. We do. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting we have a like topics to do later list. Yeah. This is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna have to listen to this whole thing because I missed so much of it from my five minutes. Pl plus, I haven't been doing the link dump because I'm an idiot and Andre I keep forgetting. Flicker. Uh. <sighs> I saw that. Just couldn't stop playing. Yeah. Right? I have now. I was feeling ill, and that got me out of it, thankfully. I actually left it on for the three hours I fell mm. asleep today. <clears throat> so there was nothing being stabbed for three hours? No, it was. No, That's it was consistently crime. stabbing for three oh. hours. That's why I left it on. <laughs> There's stuff you can buy that uh, does it for you. Yeah. You know, you gotta get that ten billion stabs yeah. per second, or else Senpai won't love you. I got it to like 53 million per second. Yeah. At that point, it cost like a hundred billion to add more. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm not gonna wait. In for those that games, anymore. there's always a point where you reach where you need like hours to save up to buy any kind of upgrade. So it's just kind of time to stop playing. At that I point. I got to Pretty 10 much. billion and then I was happy because Senpai finally loved me. Senpai was a puddle. At that point, so, stabbing. Mm. Atomized a little bit. How fast would that stabbing be if it was ten billion steps per second? Uh, too fast for the human eye to track. So. Yeah. It would be around, I don't know, at least a hundred million uh, every millisecond. Mm. I think. Yeah, gotta yeah. gotta gotta stab them at the speed of light. Mm. <laughs> Fast in the speed of light. Stab them so fast they were stabbed before you even raised your knife. It's the speed <laughs> of light. Dude. Uh, Alright. Um, oh, so, our yeah. next topic. So, please. Our next topic is. Replace any anime manga character. Now, this wasn't explained in much detail. By the person yeah, who suggested it. About it last week. <laughs> Basically, they just said replace any anime manga character. They did not specify whether that was replace them with yourself or replace them with another character. So we're going to do both of those because why the fuck not? Uh, we'll we mentioned with... uh, uh, somebody replacing Naruto and then Bleach, so that would be that example of it. Yeah, we'll start with the uh, self-insert version. So, who would you replace with yourself? Was that an actual question, or were you just saying the topic? That's the question that we're doing in the moment. Ah. Uh. I don't know, Shinji, I guess. Hmm. Why? It's, I don't know. Because masochist, I guess. Kind of, you'd just be facing abuse from all comers at that, in that series. Yeah. yeah, but giant robot. So giant robot that hurts the pilot every single time you get into it? Sort of. Is worth it. It's psychological damage, and I'd like to think I'm pretty sane and well-balanced, so... You. 
Love. You want the psychological okay. damage? No, I, I mean, I would handle it better. Love. Yo, I'm, it pretty, would break I'm pretty you. sure you needed to be psychologically damaged to pilot the thing. Oh, yeah. Based on the pilots. I keep thinking hmm. of Megas XLR now. Anybody remember that? Yeah, but I'm... I, do. I don't want to be... No, I just... When he said, when he said he because of giant <laughs> robots, I thought, oh, Megas <laughs> XLR. Six big giant robots. Yeah. Um... Let's see, character you'd self insert. Tempted to say. Hmm, not Attack on Titan. Certainly not Attack on Titan. <laughs> no, no that, that, would, that, would, that would be a special kind of dumb, even beyond Evangelion. Um, Sora Online has the advantage of video games. Log Horizon has the advantage of video games that are real life. Uh, let's see, Future Diary, you get a Yandre. Which is always a nice touch. God damn it, Zero. Uh, except for you're kind of screwed eternally to a bad end. A repeating bad end. Spoiler. You become God in the end if you do if you play your cards right. Um I don't know. I might go with someone from uh Log Horizon, now that you've said it. That seems that seems yeah. like a very easy choice, but Something I'd probably do okay yeah. as. Well, yeah, you get the perks of a video game without the whole permadeath thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You've you've got to take into account your own skill set. Are you actually going to be able to live up to being this character, as it were? Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, you, most to people think of wouldn't be able to replace move. Shiro or Shiroe. Um... Yeah, I wasn't going to pick him. I was going to just pick somebody. I don't know who. Maybe that. Uh... What's his name, guy? The the bad guy in the northern city that was taking over everything? Just take oh, yeah, take over yeah. his position and not be a dick and just run the city. Yeah, that's that's, that's a good choice. Hmm. That's a solid choice. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I, w- I was going to say uh, one of the characters from Gurren Lagann, yeah. but I do not have the I was going to say that. that. But, you know, actually, no. Kill a Kill. That sounds, that sounds like a nice series to insert yourself into. Okay. That's I who? Know. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I think I could make hmm. for a good Mako. <laughs> 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 uh, hmm. I don't. I don't think you have the breasts for that. Uh, sorry. But it would allow for lesbian subtext. <laughs> More lesbian subtext. Hmm. <laughs> Well, we're assuming that I would be replacing uh, the character and then I wouldn't be team. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. I don't know. It, it feels like it would be, it'd be, uh, it'd be nice to be there and be near the center of that plot. It'd just be exciting. I'm not so sure about that. What with the being eaten by clothing mm. thing that happens uh, to Mako yeah. in that yeah. series? Mm. You know, thanks. Um... Actually, I'm going to have to go with Dragon Ball Z on this. And... Really? Oh, okay. Replace... One. Probably... Say it. Say the, one I, say the one I want you to say. <laughs> I know what you want me to say. And I'm not... Who do I want you to say? Yeah. Something like that. No? Broly? No. Broly? That wasn't what Broly? I was going to say. Was... Yeah, Broly. Wait, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to oh. say Hercule. No. Oh. Actually, that sounds really awesome. Why would you? Why you don't want to be rich for doing nothing. You don't want to be rich and famous and loved worldwide. That sounds like for doing possibly nothing? the greatest thing ever. I don't know. It does. Yeah. I, I might have to go with Hercule and then actually like start training, like real training, <laughs> and then I'd be a strong Hercule, and then everything would be good. Well, you wouldn't be a strong. Comparatively, you wouldn't be a strong Hercule, but to most humans, I, I you'd could be a train. Strong I could train in the hyperbolic time chamber. So, you kind of need to gain access to that first. Then you'd have you'd actually have to climb the mm. tower, like actually climb it. I'd, I'd train. I'm, I'm assuming anime logic applies to me, so why not? I can do it if I believe in yeah, myself. Yeah, that's a fair assumption. Mm. Yeah, it, it would work. That's reasonable. Yeah. Uh, Kenshi, did you say yours? I can't remember if you did. I don't think you did. 
Gene from Outlaw Star because that life seems awesome were it not for the fact that he's broke all the time. Uh, yeah. You'd probably be better with money, though, so... I don't think you'd have that problem. Hmm. I do not know who that is, so... you never seen Outlaw I Star? Have not. I'm not surprised. Oh. It's it's kind of an old one. Like Trigon yeah. era. Hmm. Fucking love that shit. Alright, so then, non so. Speak, speaking of Trigon, no one wants to be Vash the Stampede. God, no. No, nobody <laughs> no, wants no, to be Vash no. the <laughs> That's yeah. a horrible existence. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, which anime character you do you not want to be? Uh, anyone from Attack on <laughs> yeah, Titan. Yeah, anyone from Attack on Titan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anybody that's basically nameless, like the Anbu from Naruto, or just the no-name, <laughs> or no-division, or seated, yeah, uh, no-seat division people. Mm. <laughs> Any harem protagonist ever. Um... Uh, well, <laughs> no, you would want to. You'd, you'd just have balls to yeah. do stuff. I, can I change what I suffer into myself into? <laughs> that seems like a... Even if you did, it seems like a very dangerous existence. Uh, I, d I don't think that would end well don't... for you if you actually tried to do something. I feel like the yeah. entire concept would fall apart around a, you, you just, and possibly you just kill you. just a girl and then problem solved. There you go. We got options. It's not problem solved. That's not problem solved at all. Hmm. That's the beginning of more problems. If you that, pick anyone that different they problems. actually know about it, and like in Two Love Rue, wouldn't that be fine? I thought that was the whole point. It's like he was building a harem for the ruling the galaxy marriage thing. Huh. That's a weird plot. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I I watched like three episodes of that and I wanted to punch the main character in the face already, so I don't think I could last three seasons. I actually read and I actually read some of the manga of that. I don't remember how far I got. But it I, I had to push myself to to read that because I was hoping it would get better. It, uh, I assume it doesn't though. It, uh, uh, it, it's like it's like hmm. ringing in those. It's, it's like it's like it's like <laughs> harem plus three of week MC. Yeah, it, it's hmm. wait what? It, it's like it's like super harem -y and the main character remains consistently weak. So, oh, okay. yeah. I, the, I don't like characters that are really weak like that, unless they get stronger. It's just... Like, in character-wise, or strength-wise, or whatever, don't be a doormat. Mm. They don't tend to do that in harem series. Ever. What, have strong characters? Um... Yeah. They've done that a few times. I've seen that happen. And the main character's just really awesome. But, like... Eh. Mm, DXD's probably a good example of that. DXD, Mostly. main character, wants a hair. And he yeah. gets to be really strong and everything. Point is, he, yeah, he, does, yeah, he doesn't actually. realize that his harem is right in front of him most of the time. Or when, or when he actually does, he does, but then he gets... Like, one of the harem becomes his girlfriend, and then she still allows them all to, like, do whatever with him, like, to a certain extent. Hmm. And then you find out that he's traumatized and can't actually do anything, yeah. and it's, uh... he, he was, Yeah, he was traumatized, and that's why he didn't get to pick one of them for the longest time. Until he was... Wait, yeah, he was traumatized from the very beginning of the series. Yeah, being killed by but a woman... Had, who was very obviously oh. a woman at the time, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, she kind of Poor dude. fake dated him and then killed him. Hmm. Huh. That, huh. So he... That's weirdly realistic. Yeah, first real experience with a woman and it kills him. And, yeah. yeah. That's pretty solid basis for a trauma, yeah, in it, fairness. It emotionally wrecked him so he couldn't pick one of them until... He finally did, and even then, you know, harem stuff kept happening, because he's the harem king. Hmm. <laughs> did you read the light novels for that, Casey? Uh, no, I haven't. It gets really 
I think you're the only one to hear recent yeah. light novels. I tried to do the Sword Art Online ones, mm. but I didn't get very far. It gets really awesome in the yeah. light novels with DXD. Like, he gets to the point where, um, he actually, I don't want to say any spoilers, never mind. But he just gets really awesome as a main character, and it's the reason why I like DXD. You know, it's a harem, it's, it's harem but they do it well. Mm-hmm. You know, there's only like seven light novels for Log Horizon. Yeah, and they've done five of them yeah. in the anime, and they have having a, a second yeah, series. Yeah, I, I saw that. Oh. No. Hmm. Uh, I have no idea what they're going to fill the second series with. <laughs> filler or more discovery stuff. That's I don't or know if that was in the might the be, light novels or, or not. Might get ahead of the light novels. Could do. And if the author just starts writing for the anime or something, yeah. that'd be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um well, that was a tangent. A little bit. Uh so replacing any anime manga character with another anime manga character. I'd like to replace um hmm. main protagonist of Future Die with like Let's go with Ichigo Kurosaki, because why not? That would be interesting to see how he responds to uh, the Yandere character. He's, Yuki. Or, Wait, yeah, no. She calls him Yuki. Why did I, how know. did I forget her name? Also, you know, he's that's a it. strong main character and pretty against it, killing normal people. So I feel like it would be interesting because he would take people down and then say, no, let's not kill each other, and let's go after the guy who's making us kill each other. Except that wouldn't really I work. I mean, he that seems like a reasonable reaction, but uh, that wouldn't It would be work. interesting to see what if he changes at all. That's what I think. Oh, wait. Here's another one. Uh, replacing the... Replacing Aaron of Attack on Titan with Goku from Dragon Ball Z. There you go. That's not <laughs> one. Uh, it would be interesting for a one shot, I believe, but not. What are there's all these signs? Oh thing. no, a giant laser appeared in the and went through all these signs. Now all the signs are dead. Well, and then everyone and was then everyone saved. was saved. Yeah. So why not? Hmm. And then they got ice cream. <laughs> and then Goku got the seven Dragon Balls and brought back every character that died in the series. Yeah. Mm. yeah. If Dragon Ball's yeah. came with him anyway, if not, it's it, it's, it's amazing how some how some things in anime is completely fix everything in the other. I really hate Dragon Ball. It's such a bullshit <laughs> series. <secret. laughs> you think that's bad? Try One Punch oh, Man. Oh, One Punch Man's one punch great. Man and attack on Titan. <laughs> one Punch Man is a joke. Dragon Ball yeah, played it one straight. Punch Man, I, I've read that uh, later on in that series, he actually gets challenged by things. Once it stops being so comical, it's just, mm. you know, we're establishing that he's really awesome and he's hilarious. Main villain is like, <laughs> oh, I've been waiting so long for somebody who could challenge me. He punches a guy, and the guy is like, oh, wait, no, I'm going to die. Oh, wait, no, I have another form. Now you cannot defeat punches him again, and then he dies. Hmm. That's not really much. Yeah, I know, that's. That wasn't okay. the most recent thing, is what I'm saying. That's, that's establishing it being funny. The challenging okay. stuff comes a lot later. Hmm. I... I feel like that should have gone in a different direction at that point. That someone just... Some just random guy in a crowd says, Took you two punches? Maybe we should change your title to Two Punch Man. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd laughs at him and he spirals into depression. Technically, he fought <laughs> pretty much two different characters. Because it's like final form, and whatever. Hmm. So yeah, it's it's like you it's like fighting a boss, and then you your damage doesn't go over the threshold, and then they transform, and then you beat them easily. That's such bullshit, by the yeah. way. I hate that shit. It really is. Um. Anyway, okay, what does uh, everybody else want to replace? Hmm. I was. I'm thinking. 
I like Slice's Evangelion thing, but it needs, like, a ridiculously badass character. So I'm thinking Kamina. Ooh, yes! I feel like that's been a fic several times, but fuck it. Yes. Yes. That, I, I feel that Kamina with any giant robot automatically equals win. Hmm. Yeah, that that story's been told many a time on fanfiction.net, I imagine. Uh, it has, actually. I've seen it a few times. Yeah. Oh, well. Didn't say we had to be yeah. original. <laughs> it's just a good idea. Has it ever been done well? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. Right. How about... How about just One Punch Man in anything? There we go. Pretty much. Can I change who I want to replace in the series? I don't see why not. Sure. I want to replace the main character from Rising X Ride Dean. Oh, God. Gel Mm. powers and all. Oh. Is that the one with the the white powers? (laughs) The gel powers. Yeah. Yeah. Replace Mm. him. Replace him with Ace from One Piece. There you go. Firepower. Or somebody else that has powers. Yeah. Then it's just a superhero yeah. series, and it's kind of... <laughs> no, I said I want to oh, replace that Oh, he wants character. to replace himself, yeah. Me. Yeah. I want gel powers. Uh, <laughs> Why do you want gel powers? That, Why okay. not? I would, I would... If you wrote a fic with yourself self-inserting, like a one-shot, I would read that. Because that sounds hilarious. I can imagine trolling the crap out of people with that power. Just... Oh my gosh. Hey, you got something on your face. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, you got something all over your face. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. It's a good power It, it really is. It's also disgusting. Mm. Yeah. Apparently yeah, you can he also can. skate with it. Which is super disgusting. You know, the first thing I would do if I ever got that power was go to a scientist and find out what that white gel consists of. They tried. Feel, they tried. I that. feel like that's important they tried. information. They only found out that it was like highly resistant to like, yeah, yeah, not toxic, not toxic and resistant to electricity. <laughs> um, hmm. so yeah, if he gets, you can't get electrocuted to death. Like unless you're really, really trying really hard. Hmm. But, uh, anyway, I say again. Uh, anyone got any other bright ideas for characters <laughs> they want to replace with other characters? I'm thinking, and a lot of them are either like joke stuff, like One Punch Man, or just uh, just to see how they would react, like the Ichigo mm-hmm. in Future Diary. Mm. I want to replace any Marine Admiral with <laughs> Light from <laughs> Death Note. Oh, that's and interesting. On, with the requirement that they have the same oh. motivation, that they're trying to clean up the world. Yes. Oh, oh. That's the that's the motive. Yeah, same motivation. Like. Oh. <laughs> Put Lelouch in Future Diary. Hmm. That's that's a good one, actually. That would make a good fic. Because then, you know, he's planning on. He's, he's got everything planned out. Oh, that'd be great. Lelouch in a lot of things yeah. is a good fic. Just yeah. Oddly enough, he actually. he would fit in a lot of places. Just as the pseudo diabolical chess master. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Somebody write a log horizon fic with uh, Lelouch instead of or Shiroi. have Lelouch versus Shiro. I, I, f- I feel like uh, Lelouch replacing Shiroe would just be a slightly darker Shiroe. Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> feel like it would be better point. to have yeah. both of them and then have them duke it out. It would be hilarious and awesome. Mm. Not yet. We need another kingdom. Yeah. Because, I mean, sure, we have one. one. Of the As north, of episode 25, yeah. we have one. Sort of. We have one, but we don't know Get anything about it. Get that flushed out. We Get don't that know enough out, to really then have make there it. And have Lelouch conquer it and then have Lelouch invade. There you go. 
Mm. Yep. Because I feel like Lelouch would do that. Because world domination. Well, digital world domination. Mm, is it really digital? I suppose that hasn't really been yeah. confirmed, though, if it's a digital world or if it's just a completely different yeah. world. Now I have the Digimon theme stuck Digimon, in my head. Digital monsters, Digimon, are the champions. Later. That's for later. Into digital champions. It's <laughs> gonna be the whole <laughs> Digital world. Yeah. So. It was a good thing. It, it was as good. Uh, yeah, for later. It's an earworm. It's not a theme. <laughs> ah, we'll save this one later. Oh. Alright. Next up. Yeah. Uh, how long have we been running? It's over an hour. Alright, uh, worst protagonist. Oh, God. Uh, I think I mentioned it before, the guy from, um, what was it? Oh, damn it. Evangelion? Bastard, I think. Oh. Just the, the womanizer drunk. He's like a cleric. He has a club. He casts healing spells, I guess. What was it you said? I missed it when I was saying Evangelion and making a very valid answer to this question. Uh, the guy from Bastard. Mm. I I think that's the name of the series. Every I time remember. I read something with Never a horrible protagonist, I usually stop reading. So, yeah. yeah. Define horrible. Memorable. Which kind of horrible um, are you talking about? Either not interesting at all, or they're just... You cannot root for them sometimes. Or in some cases, they're just really, 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 really pathetic. Which, you know, you want, you want yeah. your main character to be good at something, or cool. Have these cool moments. If you don't give the reader, viewer, or whatever that, then it's just hmm. not interesting. There need to be moments of yeah. triumph. Of some kind. And I can't remember any specific example off the top of my head uh, for this. You said uh, Evangelion, but Shinji's not that bad. He's realistic. I mean, I've seen like two seasons of Black Lagoon, and does Rock do anything? Uh... You kind of grow to hate him, actually, in the uh, the Rose's Tale of Blood, or I forget the exact title. I forget her name. Roberta's. That's it. Roberta's uh, Blood Trail, or something like that. Which one's that? Uh, like the last five episodes. Uh. Mm. Uh. I, I mean, he doesn't. I mean, why do you grow to hate him? He did, like already, he doesn't serve any per like the entire thing. The entire show could take place again with him not there at all. Well, okay, you know how he has a habit of uh, saving people in the worst way, like yes, yeah. Uh, take that and kind of ruin every character's life with it. Lives that he uh, he turns into kind of an asshole with his mani uh, manipulation. It just doesn't come across well, I suppose. Or maybe that was mm. the point. It's, the yeah, point is that Rowan Burr is changing him, and everyone realizes it. I'm convinced that um, the two bosses, the Russian lady and the Mr... It's been way too long since I've seen this show, but... Is it, is it Chang? I think it's Chang. Yeah, Chang. Uh, those two. I'm convinced they have a bet going to see who he'll turn out most like when he matures, I guess. Mm. But that's just what my no way idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Actually, you ever seen Black? Lion? I think I think I know a character that I really don't like, and that would be Saito Hiraga from Familiar of Zero. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay yeah. He's really, like he's the epitome of yeah, Dormat. just complete. Like would you're. Okay, you're the serpent of a pink-haired cinder. Maker. What are you gonna do? Well, just do whatever. Why not? Like, I, I, I have a. Don't be a doormat. I, I really, I, I've said that over and over again. But really, most people aren't doormats. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't live in Japan, so yeah. I wouldn't know about. Yeah. I have a. I have a. My my way of thinking of it is either you know jump at the call or just say no. Yeah. And be one or the other. I mm -hmm. I have a I have a friend who's kind of you know, doormat ish, but at the same time, is interesting. Like you could I just when it don't. The abuse that Saito go, goes through in the Zero series is just seriously. Why? Why wouldn't you just? I don't know. Leave once. Like I, I've read a lot of good Familiar Zero fix where they just are like, "Okay, Saito has a backbone. There we go. Good fix." Yeah, mm. that's really all you need. And then yeah, I, I yeah, it was. It's a it's a problem with the doormat characters that. At some point, everyone hits their breaking point, and they just can't keep taking the abuse anymore. And somehow, these doormat characters never seem to reach theirs. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have that limit. Hmm. That's pretty much the biggest problem I have with them. I, uh... uh to put it in a figure of speech, eventually the dog will bite back. Y there was were. one... Yeah, there well, was like one that, thing yeah. I was, uh... Reading and it was a, it was a basically a fic where they, it, it's called Stupid Devil Dog and in it Saito was like gonna go into the military, like he had a whole military family and he had a he had a strong backbone, right? So, yeah. Oh yeah, I've read that one actually. Yeah, That's a really, really good. good. And the second that Luis is like, you gotta do this, he's like, nope, it just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just up and leaves. And he and he and. Uh, the whole magical the, the whole when they get the rocket launcher in the actual series he's like take me to the grave of the guy who who, who uh, originally had that so they take him to him and he gets like another rocket launcher and like a whole bunch of other like equipment from him he's like yeah now I'm ready to go kill stuff so okay just I'm more it is effectively grave robbing and they do highlight he, that fact like a few characters are yeah. uncomfortable about it <laughs> but he's it, it, it's a cooler version of Saito, you know? You're like, okay, I could, I could get behind this main character. Mm-hmm. You know. I read a lot of, uh, I've read a lot of crossovers for Familia of Zero because of the whole freaking Saito thing. I have it read is an incredibly one easy series to cross over, yeah. though. I mean, yeah. she can summon it's literally anyone. It's easy anyone. and you want to because the main character sucks. I have read one crossover for Familiar Zero. I recommended it on this very show. Yeah, I think I recommended a few uh, of the ones I've read. Um, Seriously, Zero for Zero is a very good fic. People should read it. Okay. Um, anybody else got to say anything about Worst Protagonist? Did I actually give one? I don't think I did. You I did. said Shinji, but... So it makes a it. somewhat good point, but again, breaking point. I don't remember seeing him hit his ever. Well, he it might have happened in the film. Point. You know the the scream he lets out when he sees Oscar being torn apart in the final like two episodes. Yeah, that'd be it. He's crazy. I don't remember that, but I repressed the love of Evangelion, so that's yeah. Mm. Yeah, I did not like that show. Um, worst protagonist. I'm actually having trouble thinking of one. Well, yeah, because you don't remember them. You just get them out of your mind. Yeah, the bad ones most of the time. Uh, no, I honestly don't know. I can't think of anything decent. Mm -hmm. Or not decent, as it were. Strange that. Mm. Uh, oh, uh, got to give uh, honorable mention to Ash from Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Ash Ketchum. Yay. Hmm. Now you see, in the first season, like uh, the season of when he was in Kanto, they were actually giving him development. Mm -hmm. And then somewhere around after Johto, they just stopped. 
And they even backstab in multiple regards. Uh, ish. I mean, he takes a sort of semi-mental role with Max, except Max is kind of a know-it-all bratty little shit. Uh, I thought it was May that he took that role for. Uh, she was the contest thing, so not so much. It was a skill set that he didn't have, so he took less of a role there. Whereas Max wanted to be a trainer. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, but they did stop giving him development at some point. Also, fucking pro tip: evolve your fucking Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, okay, <laughs> I get it with Pikachu and all that. The trauma. Fucking Squirtle. Why did Squirtle never evolve? That is my question. I. Uh... Uh, I don't know. Bulbasaur never evolved because Bulbasaur apparently did not yeah. evolve Yes, either. that is the explanation that we got, and that's fine. I kind of... It's still fucking weird, but I kind of get yeah. it. I didn't understand that one because his entire purpose was to guard that uh, Glen or whatever it was. And um, you'd think he'd be able to guard that better if he was stronger. Yeah. But I guess maybe he's not... It, maybe the Pokemon there would be afraid of him if he was bigger. As a like Ivysaur, mm-hmm. so that's rationalization, but, but it's not it's very well plausible rationalization. Apparently, apparently, Bulbasaur is not a Venusaur. Yeah, of. I guess. Fifty six one eight is probably a Venusaur kind of guy. I am a Venusaur kind <laughs> of guy. I'm not a Venusaur kind of guy. Uh, a Charizard kind of guy. You can't beat Charizard. You can't. You can't. So, Especially as a Venusaur. Charizard, Charizard became his own main, became his own character in Smash Bros. You know, he can't beat him. Popularity. Mm. Fucking Venusaur against the Charizard. Charizard is like fire flying or something now, right? Uh, yeah, it can be. It's like both types. We can become fire dragon though too, with the Mega Evolution. Hmm. Dragons kind Does of Blastoise suck. Does Blastoise have a Mega Evolution yet? Yeah. Yeah, it got a third cannon on its back. Dragons kind of suck. Dragons didn't used to suck. They always kind of sucked. What? They didn't use... Oh, no. Mm. Why do dragons suck? First gen dragons were epic. Yeah, Dragonite... You, you got that Dragonite, that you were like, yeah. okay, what now? Because the only thing that could beat dragon was... Dragon. and Or mm. ice. Or yeah. ice, and how many the, of those were there? Yeah, that's true. It, Problem is, fair enough. Before how Pixie, many things, they how were, many things strong, were, were weak against dragon? <laughs> Nothing. But dragons could learn stuff that other, yeah. that most of the stuff was weak against. They could learn from much any other type they wanted. Yeah, and then it wouldn't get stabbed, so it yeah. kind of sucked. Like it was really broken in uh, first gen too. Mm. Get a Mewtwo. Get... I think dragon. Anything think that didn't have a weakness were, yeah. is broken. I think dragons were thought of as good because they were tanks and they could they were yeah. versatile tanks. Most of them. There are a couple of exceptions, but yes, most of them. Well, now dragons can be killed by fairies. Let's talk about the earlier versions. Yeah. Yeah. They really should have given dragon something to be strong against to compensate for that, because now dragons are just fucking not even worth it. Strong against anymore. dragon. Uh uh-huh. I suppose the argument is that they're strong for everything. It's just, well, they're just not overall. They're just overall really time strong. strong, like super effective. But yeah, uh, I I always like to have mm. a part steel type, at least one or two, because it's, it's always it's more, it's a lot more versatile. Cause a, they can't be poisoned, and B, sandstorm doesn't work on them at all, and just steel is a very it's a lot more versatile, in my opinion. Mm. Especially because of all the dual typing with the newest things. You win Standstorm, I swear. Sorry? Mm. Slicer? I said him and Sandstorm, I swear. Hey, Sandstorm is a legit technique. If you can get a Sandstorm team running, that's a pretty good team, just straight off the bat. Freaking throwing a Tyranitar and then everything just goes to crack. Freaking Tyranitar. Everybody likes you. I, I'm just not going like to depend Tyranitar. on something that it's up to random chance. Mm. What's up to random chance? 
the uh, the chance of missing. I mean, I have no idea what Sice is talking about. Oh, he's thinking about sand attack, not sandstorm. Not that. Oh, sandstorm oh, is the one okay. that does damage during the uh, every turn. As long as you're yeah. not okay. rock, yeah. steel, or ground type. Rock or steel yeah. or ground, yeah. it will fuck you up. And there's a bunch of abilities that mean you'll, that uh, rock, steel, and ground types can be stronger in sandstorms. Like uh, I think Ex Excadrill can be faster, or maybe he gets his evasion boosted, yeah. or his attack goes up. Mm -hmm. I think it's every turn or something. And because you get also if if you get a bunch of Pokemon that have abilities like that, then that team will steamroll just yeah. about anything as long as you can keep mm -hmm. the sandstorm going. And we get lots of things, lots of the steel type, steel type. You can't just annihilate them with fire. Mm. Unless you throw in a Steelix, because why not? There really aren't any pure steel types. Okay, we're getting off topic. There's a topic. There are some pure steel types. I mean, there's Aaron. Yeah, and yeah, Aaron but there, there really the aren't that many in comparison to the mass amount of like dual dual types that have steel that they've been putting out in recent gens. Mm. Um. All right. Uh, we got on a Pokemon tangent again. Pokemon. Of course. We do that a lot. Pokemon. One I don't feel champions. guilty about that. Do we? What? No, <laughs> I don't either. Uh, so the next topic, I guess we're moving on to the next topic because I couldn't think of a worse protagonist beyond Ash Ketchum. Yeah, no. And no one answered my question of why Squirtle didn't evolve. Because plot. Uh, no. there was no reason. Yeah, actually, no, there really wasn't. I mean, <clears throat> I can see him Market evolving ability. into a War Turtle so he could lead his squad better, but. Uh, maybe a Bulbasaur would be too much, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Or not a Bulbasaur. Uh, Blastoise. Blast Squirtle <laughs> yeah. evolved into Bulbasaur. What have you been doing? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's against nature. But then he got rid of his Pidgeot, damn it. I, I really feel like if you have really strong, evolved, fully evolved Pokemon, you don't need to get rid of them. You really don't. What? Your mic was really quiet. Like, I can hear you. Uh, you don't need to get rid of your Pokemon if they're yeah, really strong like, or something. Freaking okay! I've got a Charizard now, so I'm gonna let that Charizard go and get stronger by himself. Bye, Charizard. See you in the next movie. Actually, I think Charizard is like a regular. Yeah, I know. On regular, the series, Charizard's though. regular on the series. I'm, I'm glad about it. Like, just all his other Pokemon, oh. he just forgets yes. about. Just leaves them. Mm. The Pidgeot thing, I saw a really good explanation for. I think it was... Uh, it was in a fic, obviously. But, um, like, Ash didn't actually abandon the Pidgeot. I mean, he let it be in the forest and protecting the Pidgey and stuff. But then... Once when he was back in Pallet after, like, Johto or Hoenn or something... Uh, he gets a feather from he the Pidgeot leaves a feather in the windowsill and it turns out that that flock of Pidgey were migrating oh. so it had to leave with them mm. so right. it left the feather to say goodbye I like that explanation I can it's, buy that yeah yeah it's kind of sad oh, but I kind of forget it's romantically it. sad yeah. Okay, how about Muck? What about Muck? Never, never used Muck. He does use Muck. He used Muck once. Uh, hey guys, guys. In fairness, I didn't pay that much attention. Guys, that yet. question in. Just now. We yeah. ready? I yeah. haven't checked my. Oh. Uh, Neil Nanzu right, asks: Has any one of you ever thought of writing and publishing your own works like the writer of the Engulfing Silence did? Ah, not even no. What? Where's this question coming in from? Neil Nandu on the Bloxmart page. I've not got an email through about that. Don't know why. Have you ever thought of publishing your own works like the work? Yes, I have, and I am also in the middle of trying to work yeah, out. Yeah, I've been thinking that. about that too. I've 
Okay, it is not showing up on my blogspot. Pa- oh, there it is. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I've publishing your own works. written several ideas out. It's just I haven't found one that I really want to write as a full story. Yeah, I'd started one on my last laptop, and then it decided to not work anymore. Mm. So mm. it's gone forever. Mm. <laughs> and I, my notes were on it, too. So yeah, I... Yeah. I uh, it's just the world building can take a lot of time. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's easy to just steal, oh, it's real life, and it's happening in this world. But that's... Yeah. Hmm. It's boring. I've considered doing this. It. I feel like I would need a good idea at least, and I don't have any at the moment that are not based on other people's great ideas. All ideas are based on other people's great ideas. No way. Yeah. Yeah. So we just jumped right into that question for some yeah, reason. Because we know weren't why. doing. But your question yeah. has been answered, so you're welcome. It was yeah. an easy one to answer. Okay, yeah. uh, I guess. Oh, okay. <clears throat> theme tunes? Uh, theme what are tunes? We doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're done with West Protagonist. So, theme tunes is the final topic, more or less. Uh, yeah. I like a good theme tune. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them turn out to be earworms. Uh, most some of them, of them yeah. So, some of them aren't, and I appreciate the ones mm-hmm. that aren't. I had a really bad experience with the theme tune ones. Uh, Evangelions, yet another reason to hate it. Ah. Uh, Wait, why would that be a reason to hate it? Isn't that a good song? It's a good song, yes. Um, I was in uni. I had an assignment due the next day, and I watched an episode of Evangelion, and... I literally couldn't get it out of my head for the next 12 hours and couldn't do anything because of it. I it mean, happened. literally paralyzed by this fucking yeah. song. Mm. I've had the opening to Blue Exorcist stuck in my head for like two days straight at one point. It's a good opening. <clears throat> I never got around to seeing that one. <clears throat> um, I th- freaking Pokemon theme. There you go. Yeah. I can get an entire... That's, that's, I sing that all the time when I play online multiplayer games and get the entire room yeah. singing Pokemon. <laughs> really? Because it's fun. Yes! It happens, it. yeah. People just start singing it with it's you. It's a fun song. They can't help it. <laughs> I've started up Call of Duty games or any multiplayer game. I've gone into like the one of the rooms in Grand Theft Auto Five, and just sang the song, and people will sing with you. It's pretty cool. It is it's dumb as shit, but it's Russian, pretty cool. Yeah, and then one Russian kid, after we were done with that, just started singing the poker rap, like all 150 it's in the poker fan- rap. That's Seriously? fantastic. Yes, it was very <laughs> impressive. That truly, truly, uh... some people have made great progress for their lives to memorize the poker rap. Mm-hmm. Another topic idea. Image songs. Just adding a bunch of stuff to the list. What did I say, Uh, What? I didn't hear what you said. Image songs? Yeah. I have no idea what that is. It's basically, you know, the poker app. And, uh... We're on the road to Viridian City. Oh, okay. Just basically songs that are based on the series and (laughs) things like that. Song, by the way, that it's your fault, Slicer. That's got back stuck in my head because of those fucking Michael's Let's Plays, and he sings that song constantly. <laughs> Did you want to show me uh, yeah. Oh, so, um, well, the two best friends may have crapped on it, but I actually really like Database. Yeah. yeah. So did I. I I didn't like it at first, but it really, really, really yeah. grew on me. I, I have not heard anybody that likes it that didn't say that was what happened. They didn't like it at first, and it grew on mm. them. I liked mm. it at first, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so cheesy, know. but, you know... I mean, it's bit, it's yeah. bad English he... rap, but still. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, me, me and my brother Ugh. have just 
gone into actually finding a way to like English because it's just everywhere. It's hard to... You're not allowed to dislike it if you like the music from Persona yeah. because almost all of that yeah, is in English. So, oh, yeah. yeah. We're not... And it's not like it's not like the kind of, you know, something you can make sense of kind of English. It's the what the hell are they talking about kind of English. <laughs> also, me and my brother are yeah. big fan of Golly Knows and that has English in its opening. It gets better, but like the third season, you... You're a big fan of no, Dominoes? No, Golly Knows. Oh, okay. God only knows, okay. Um, There's also uh, Black Lagoon. Yeah. You can't watch it dubbed. You need to watch it sub just for this bad English. Yeah. It's so perfect. Um, <laughs> for, like, I've noticed, though, with the uh, interesting thing about Golly Knows is that you can notice the English getting better. More like English. Like, until the third, <laughs> like, the third season opening, me and my brother were like, oh, they, they have actual English singers this time. And then they mess up like, no, wait! It is English. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's okay. Hmm. What are some really bad theme tunes? Every four The One Piece theme. rap? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even have to think about it, did you? <laughs> yeah. One Piece rap. <laughs> Fuck that song. In fairness, the Pokemon thing was a four kids theme tune. It was? Pokemon was done by four okay. kids. Okay, that's the, okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah, huh. I got that one. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, because I have heard the Japanese ones, and they're they didn't change a whole lot. They just made it English, basically. Mm. But that's more respect than they gave to One Piece. So yeah, because the One Piece, yeah. like Japanese opening, we are was an award winner. It was, and basically all Funimation had to do was dub it in English. And hey, you made a good theme tune. Yeah. But somehow, four kids missed that memo that you could just do that, even though mm-hmm. they'd done it before. Uh, <sighs> they might have been able to. Some talk. Some songs don't dub well. Yeah. They were able to because someone <laughs> yeah. else did it. Oh, okay then. That's... So yeah, blame yeah. four kids. Because that's just. Uh... You know, I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. These people. Hmm. I tell you what, uh, a lot of theme tunes that I listen to actually get me into the artists themselves a lot of the time. I mean, a lot of the Japanese music I listen to is because I heard one of their songs as an opening or an ending to an anime and just downloaded their hey, stuff. Hey, Kenji, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. I don't like is the uh, Dragon Ball GT yeah. opening. What? Of course you don't. Yeah, no, no one, one likes, likes that. that. No one likes anything about GT. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that's Vegeta's theme song if you want to go by DBZ or Bridge. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I get to agree with you guys about something on Dragon Ball. Yeah, <laughs> Dragon Ball GT sucks. Everything about it, it's really terrible. Right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. not... Yeah. I know you're being completely facetious in the way it's you're speaking, but it's true. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow, it's even that yeah. right non-canon? Yeah. Huh. Like, they tried to make the anime continue, and then they failed. Horribly. Because they wanted that Saiyan money. Saiyan that money. Super yeah. Saiyan swag. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a thing. Super Saiyan swag. <laughs> Uh, why did Swagger become a thing? It's a Pokemon move. I don't know. Aside from rhyming with Mick Jagger. It's a Pokemon move. It's always been a thing. It's a good vocabulary word that black people learned, and when we started using it a lot, it got popular. Well, that, se- that seems... That seems... It's the first time I heard it used in popular culture was by a white girl. When? Kesha. Yeah. Exactly. That's my point. It Then it drifted into everything. Swag. Kesha's producer is like, I think it's P. Diddy. Mm. Hmm. There's swagger and then there is swag which actually relates back to the pirates. 
and its old old term. That yeah. I didn't know. Like swag is an actual like very it's a, like it's a really it's a swag really old a, term. It's a synonym for it's a synonym for stuff, mm. loot, plunder, yeah. swag. It is. Whether it's an actual term that they used back then, I'm not entirely sure. It might have been a holdover from Treasure Island. Who knows? But uh yeah, and that kind of makes sense that swag becomes people who get swag, which makes them swaggers. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're killing me. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I hate that word, by the way. It sucks. It's I used it in a chapter before. I noticed when I used it because I was just like, why not at that point? And apparently people thought it was funny of the way I used it. So. Yeah. Go yeah, you, I guess? I managed to make it work somehow. Because why not? <laughs> yes, work. Air quotes. Uh, hate that word. What were we talking uh, about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, theme tunes. We might have to theme wrap tunes. this up soon. Because I have to be going soon. And... I don't think we have too much to say about theme tunes. Yeah, well, you decided to get up I'm late, sorry. so I'm fuck sorry. you. Um, yeah, well, we're almost done anyway. Theme tunes are awesome. Pretty much all of my Japanese music is based on the music they made for a yeah. theme. They're pretty oh, much half of what uh, I work out. Mariah Nikki and Dead Man Wonderland. The opening for both of those are yeah. fantastic. I can't yeah, remember, yeah, I remember yeah. them until now, but I just listen to them all the time. Um, Brunhilder in the Darkness or, out, or of the Darkness has a really good opening that's just dubstep. <laughs> Samurai Shampoo has a good opening. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. That's That show had a lot mm -hmm. of good music. That, yeah, yeah, that show's entire yeah, soundtrack. No Game No Life has a good opening, too. Uh, it starts with piano, it's... and... I don't know. Once you've heard it played on piano, just like solo piano, it sounds really good. Gundam Wings opening got me pumped. Hmm. Gurren Lagann. I don't know why. Shario days. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> and Viral's theme. Viral. Viral. Yeah, that's it. Viral. Viral. Why did they pronounce it Viral when it's literally spelled Viral? Because they don't want I don't know. Viral. Why did they say Simone instead of Simon? Point. Because it's an alternate... I don't know. Simon doesn't exactly scream... Awesome. Because was, like he does actually. He does s scream awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That series? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're done with theme tunes. I'm sure. <clears throat> Good stuff. Usually. Good ones Usually can make a show. Stuff. Bad ones can break a show. <laughs> make a show worse, but they won't really yeah, break a show most, most of the time. Because you can skip openings now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So recommendations. Closing out the show. Okay. Um, I'll go first. I'll recommend uh, "To My Death I Fight," which is Bleach and Kill a Kill. Um, mm -hmm. basically, it, they managed to make the worlds work together. Which is really interesting, and like Ichigo's dad has is like has a whole connection with you know Kageo, you know Satsuki's mother, and like there's lots of cool behind the scenes stuff, and uh, Ichigo gets a Kamui, but because this is after Eisen fight, he doesn't have his powers, and the Kamui is hmm. based roughly off his full bring armor. The white and black one, which is cool. It's better than the Fullbring arc. So, like, wait, his Fullbring is like misty. No, you know, no, uh, the, the real full, the, the full group bring uh, armor when it becomes actual armor. Yeah. Oh, right. Like the, the strappy okay. thing. Ninja gear. I got it. This yeah. ninja gear. It's basically yeah. like a modified version of that. First commonly, which is cool. It's not revealing or anything, which is nice. <laughs> it's it a fake. Why does it matter? You're gonna look. <laughs> uh, I've got an overactive 
I feel like it really should have been revealing. Of, uh, just God robe, though. I mean, that was that wasn't mm. that the point. Mm. They're revealing because they have less yeah. clothing. Mm. Well, but his was specially made by Kisuke Uehara. Of course, mm. it was. Okay. Um, Odio managed to steal some life fibers after he went on an internship at Revox, and he brought it to Kisuke and. <laughs> okay. I love that ref I love that connection so I know. much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, there's a lot of interconnected things, so the worlds do work together, and it's really cool. Because um, they're it's all in the same world. Like outside of um, hmm. Karakura Town, like entire world is run by conglomerates, but Karakura Town is like the only one of the only places that isn't because of like interference from social society mm-hmm. and everything. And, you know, Shin Kurosaki. Yeah, you're going to have to link that, because I really want to read that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to reopen Chrome. Uh, but, yeah, To My Death I Fight. It's 16 chapters long. It's still updating. Um, so I recommend that. Because Ichigo is really cool, because he knows how to actually fight. And Ududu shows up, and I think there might be something going on with her. With life fibers and whatnot. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Um. Ken. I have nothing. Okay, and my turn. I have nothing. <laughs> All so, right. So finish it off with something. Then I guess. Uh, cool. Andrew Joshua Talon <laughs> released a fic called True Tina. I think it is. Uh, it's basically, during third year, when Hermione was using the Time Turner, she went kind of crazy and decided to uh, make a Hogwarts computer program. It, it's kind of like, starts 20 years in the future instead of Ooh. in the 70s, so it's yeah. modern-ish era. And um, she loses it, so it winds up in the, the room of lost things, in the come-and-go room. And due to the magic in the room, it doesn't inf- interfere with electronics in this universe. And um, so it kind of grows, and it turns into... Well, it hasn't really been revealed yet. But it's an interesting start. It's only, like, two chapters long. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Okay. Mm, hold on. Uh, I gotta go now. Yep, yeah, okay. So... Yeah, we heard. All right. Uh, do you want to sign off, Zero? And I can do the outro. Zero? Uh, yes, I guess. Yep. Okay. You. I guess he's gone. Okay. Oh, his his mic died. Okay. Turn off zero. Stop. Uh, stop recording, and I can just do the thing and stuff. Yeah. All right. Zero says bye, everyone. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So once again, I I haven't done it yet. So not once again. I would like to thank everybody for listening to the Phantom Flux Podcast, episode 33. If you would like to get in contact with us, you can do so through the box box page, through the comments, or through our own personal profiles on fanfiction.net, or through the YouTube comments on the videos that are going to be going on there. Once again, I would like to thank everybody for listening to the Phantom Flux Podcast, episode 33. Bye now. See ya. Bye. I did it without stumbling this time.